Good day, friend. Welcome to Just Thinking. Today, I'll be discussing with you the concern of certain people, individuals, and ministries making God's exemption the norm and the standard. How do I mean? Certain things are exemptions. As, for example, in, in law, there are exemptions in law. And the same thing in the Bible, there are exemptions to the law of God. That is the basis for having mercy. The Bible says mercy prevail over judgment. I'll give you a few examples. You know, if you're subscribing for data with some telecom companies, we ask you if it is one-off or is auto-renewal. So they are saying, should this just be an exemption or is it normally the standard you want to keep maintaining over time? And for instance, in the Bible, when God told the prophet to go and marry an alert, it would be wrong for anybody to now say, God's standard is for us to marry a lot, or I can just marry anybody. What about the prophet Bela and his donkey? Remember the donkey spoke. The donkey speaking or prophesying or revealing the revelation, does it make the donkey equal to the prophet? Of course not. And I want to let you know, brethren, that there are certain exemptions God gives certain people in the ministry. Because God made an exemption in the ministry of Jesus and said, use clay mixed with water to open the eye of the blind man. Does that mean now that any pastor that wants to open the eye of the blind man should mix clay with water or spit on the floor and mix it and apply it to the eye of the blind? There are a few exemptions but I'm just trying to tell you that don't make it the norm. Friends, think through your own life too. You have enjoyed certain exemptions in life, but does that make them the standard for your living? God grant you wisdom to know what is an exemption and what is the norm, the standard God expects of every one of us. I'm just thinking. I hope you do too.